Hi and welcome to this episode where I'll be taking you through how to deploy alerting for Azure NetApp files using Azure Metrics Monitor. Now if you're using Azure NetApp files this could be really useful for you as you can set alerts to let your staff know when you're approaching your quota limits. In this example I'll be running through step by step how to set these alerts up and I'll also be running a live demonstration of how I can do this to my phone using the Azure app. Let's get started. In this example, we're using a 100 gigabyte volume that's been provisioned for an SAP system. Now we're currently consuming 30 gig within that, so 30% as you can see on the overview tab here. The very first step if we want to set up any alerting is to run the PowerShell script, which I've conveniently hosted at aka.ms forward slash anf alerts. And you simply change the resource group, quota and bytes, and of course the resource itself, which is the volume ID, um, to match your environment. Once you've done that, if you go into the monitor itself, so if you don't know where that is, you have Azure Monitor on your main page. And if you click on alerts, you'll see an overview of any alerts that are currently ongoing. Uh, if you don't have any, you'll, say that you'll, you'll see a screen that says there are currently no alerts and you can view the rules themselves. Now, if we go to the rules, here's the rule we created in the PowerShell just before. So you can see we've got a volume quota exceeded rule, and this is going to trigger if we ever get greater than 100 gigabytes. So if I want to see more information about that, uh, here we can see it's running against this volume here. Um, how much that alert is going to cost me per month estimated as well. And then more importantly, you'll start to see what are the actions triggered by this alert, because just telling you is one thing, but you can actually set things like auto fix events as well. For the actions in this, what we'll be doing is we're going to create an action that pushes to the Azure mobile app. So that's under this email, SMS, push and voice. You have lots of different options here, including triggering things like logic apps and webhooks so that you can very easily support things like notifying your DevOps teams within Microsoft Teams itself or even using other messages like Slack. Now I've already happened to have one of these set up, so I'm going to just select that action group. And you'll see here I've called mine alert S uh, administrators SMS. It actually um, uses the Azure app itself, so I'm not actually sending a, uh, an SMS there. And uh, I can pick the appropriate th severity here as well. Now, the great thing about Azure NetApp files is if you do exceed your volume quotas, as long as it's less than 100 terabytes, which is the architectural limit of an Azure volume, um, then the system will always honor those rights. So you won't have a catastrophic outage or data corruption. The system is safeguarding you against uh, the, the soft limits that are imposed. So with that in mind, I just hit save here and uh, this will go and update that rule. Now, whilst it's doing that, you can see my alert is now set. So if I ever go over 100 uh, gigabytes, it's going to push that alert directly to my Azure app. Now, let's go and uh, trigger this itself here. So here's a Windows 2019 host that has my ANF volume already connected to it. It's currently consuming 30 terabytes, as you can see there. So we're going to create a 90 terabyte file and that will obviously push it well over the 100 uh, limit to 120 gigabytes. So we'll go ahead and do that now and then we'll see the alert come out. Okay, so we've flipped back to the volume now. We can see that it's correctly showing that we're over our quota limit. So we're at 120% as we're at 120 gigabytes. And we can see that uh, if we go to the quota exceeded, the alerts, we can see that we actually do currently have an alert and depending on the severity you picked it will show here and this is the current one that we've uh, we've got so this is fired um, we can see that that has arrived on the azure app as we configured earlier and that's it really that's all there is to uh, creating these alerts so it's very simple takes advantage of all the native azure uh, alerting functionality and with that you can very quickly alert your team and take proactive actions for any conditions that you specify in the metrics monitor. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.